Hi, you are watching Kolsky Drones. Welcome back. Today we're going to have a look at the LDARC or King Kong Fly Egg 130. Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drone. So today we're going to have a look at the LDARC or King Kong Fly Egg 130. It's 130mm mini drone uh, and it is one of my favourites. Very quick, very nimble. So let's have a quick look at the drone. So as you can see, it is brushless motors, it has LEDs on the back, it has an 800 TVL camera in there, which is a CMOS camera. Now, why this might not be everybody's cup of tea, because it has no OSD. The King Kong range tend to not have OSDs, the older ones anyway, like this one. It doesn't bother me, I, can't, I don't mind it at all. I do like the OSD for the fact that I know how much battery time I've got, but I roughly know when I'm flying how much it is, and I can set the timer on my on my um, transmitter anyway. So a couple of things I need to tell you about this. It does not come with this cable on. It comes with a balance connector that connects into there. If you put the balance connector on, it'll brown out. So when you're giving it a lot of pain and when you're flying it hard, it will brown out on you. So you need to change that cable. And the other thing you're probably gonna need to do is throw away the battery. It comes with a 300 milliamp, 350 milliamp hour battery that is 30C. That is not capable for this quad. This is an 80C battery that I've got on here, and that's the kind of thing you need. You need 60 and above, because if not, when you when you're giving this full, it'll beep its head off and it will brown out. So it's just a couple of things to to be careful of. I've had problems with it when I first got it, and crashed it a couple of times because of that. So change your cable and put a better battery on there. The battery that comes with it is not sufficient if you buy it new. So, they're the negatives out of the way. It's got massive positives. This thing flies so well, it's untrue. It's very responsive, very, very responsive. The PIDs from the, from the box are actually quite good. If you're going to beat a flight, you don't need to do much. All you have to do is set up a switch for arming. You see, you set up an arm switch. So I've got mine there, and you need to set up a switch for your mode. So I have mine on angle, horizon, air. That's the only things you're going to need to do. I would leave the PIDs as they are. There is better PIDs out there. If you want to go and look at um, some of the videos on YouTube, and I think it's Albert Kim who who put his PIDs up, and it does fly slightly better. Not it might from what I use it for, probably not, but you can notice the difference when you find it. From a beginner out of the box this is absolutely fine. This is a decent actually beginner's drone because it can take a beating. I, I have piled this in so many times and it, it's still going. It's got chips on the props as you can see. But apart from that it flies really really nicely. I'm very more than happy with this. I've got quite a lot of um, mini FPV drones that you're going to see coming up over the next few weeks and months um, but this is possibly one of my, this might be my favourite actually, it's very difficult because I fly a couple and then I think oh I fly one for a few days and I think oh that's my favourite and then I fly another one and I think oh that might be my favourite but this one is my go to, this is the one I keep going back to so at the end of the video you're going to see some footage of it flying and that's going to be through my Amways and also, you're going to see some video footage from that we got with the GoPro, just so you can get some kind of thing. I only flew it outside in my garden because the weather here is horrendous. Uh, when the weather clears up, I'm probably going to get some footage of about five or six of these things flying, so you can get some comparison videos on what the difference is and what they look like in the air, and also how good the camera quality is. The camera is not great on this. That I must say from the word go. I, I don't think the camera's that great because I don't think the cat camera on any of the King Kongs is that great. But that's my they're my only reserves of it. The, from a flying point of view, and that's what to me it's all about. This thing flies fantastically well. When it it comes with a XM receiver, if you buy the FR Sky version, which is this, uh, I've changed mine. I put an XM Plus on here only because of the fact that I had an XM Plus knocking around and I banged it in and I've used the XM on something else. But you can buy it in Fly Sky. And you can buy it in DSM2 and DSMX. So it's a great all-round drone. You can pick it up quite cheap if you shop around. And I would highly recommend this. It, it, even for a beginner, I would highly recommend it. Obviously, 
if you're just getting into the hobby, you're going to need a transmitter to go with it. And there's probably other things you could buy that are better from this. But honestly, this thing can take such a beating, it's untrue. It really is durable. And, and that to me is one of the key things for these type of drones. It's a durable one. This is not an indoor drone. I wouldn't recommend flying this around your house. Or you're going to have damage all over the place. But yeah, highly recommend it. So thanks very much for watching. Enjoy the video that's coming up so you can get a sense of what it looks like in the air and how it flies and also what the camera looks like through the Amways. So thanks very much for watching again. Have a great day. Get plenty of flying. Thanks very much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, if you do please hit the like button and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.